guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled, He Took Me Back After I Cheated on Him. Here's Why He Shouldn't Have. And guys, this article, interestingly enough, is written by a woman. And basically, she's making it clear in this article why her boyfriend should not have taken her back after she cheated on him. Normally, you'll hear articles about women trying to convince the guy to take her back, you know, crying and begging and all that. But in this situation, she knows herself, she knows female nature, and she knows it was a mistake, okay? And so she's going to go through this whole thing. But here's what's interesting, guys. As I read through this article before I did this video, I definitely, about halfway through, even, even me, one thirty through, started picking up something interesting. Definitely, her writing this article isn't just about trying to do, say, society or men a favor, you know, letting them know, you know, she cheats on you, end it with her and move on. There's also a little bit of an ulterior motive to this article she's writing. And I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to see if you can start to pick up on this as I go through. And I'll let you know what it is at the end here because it's, it's very interesting here. And as I said before, guys, you know, I made this clear. If you're in a situation, girl cheats on you, just walk away. Okay? Because the odds are extremely high she'll do it again. She may not do it for a long time. She may come back crying and begging for you to give her a second chance. And you obviously, you know, you care about her and you think she means it. But one way or another, it's very likely to happen again down the road. It may not happen for 10 years. But if you start doing maybe some of the same things that she rationalized and made an excuse for cheating in the first place, it is a possibility it's going to happen again. Okay, or even if even if it doesn't happen again, it's definitely going to have a negative impact in the relationship. It's never going to be the same, and that's why I say honestly, it's best to just walk away and move on and start over. Okay, and it goes both ways. Also, for women that watch this, if a guy cheats on you, same deal. Best to move on here. I mean, let's be honest here. You got you got to be fair. It goes both ways. So I'm going to get into this now. Uh, it starts off. Once upon a time, I cheated on a guy that I dated for several years. It happened two or three years into our relationship, which lasted for another two years after that. I came clean about what I did immediately after it happened, and rather than break up with me, he took me back and stayed with me. He really shouldn't have done that. What does it say? She knows herself. She knows female nature. Flat out, he shouldn't have done that. Uh, number one, I cheated instead of being mature enough to communicate. I have to admit that I cheated on him because I didn't know how to communicate that I was unhappy. Instead of talking to him about the ambivalence I was feeling towards our relationship, I channeled my feels into hooking up with another guy. I was definitely attracted to the guy that I hooked up with, but I was never going to be more than that. It was just a crappy thing to do to someone, especially someone I loved and cared about. Wow, if that's what she does to someone that she truly loves and cares about, what is she going to do to someone that she doesn't like? But truly loved and cared about? Bullshit. If she truly loved and cared about this guy, she wouldn't have done that. Okay? She would have, even though it would have felt awkward, maybe she's a really bad communicator, maybe she's passive aggressive, who knows what it is, sat the guy down and communicated like an adult what she was upset about, worried about, who knows what. Okay? And said, just going out and cheating the guy. Seriously. Be an adult and talk about it. Or if you feel like you got to cheat, just end it. That's the best thing to do. Just walk away before you do it. Okay, seriously. Number two, I couldn't give him an explanation for my actions. When he asked me why I hooked up with another guy, I couldn't even muster a half-hearted explanation. I probably muttered something like, I don't know. He deserved a better answer than that. In fact, every person cheated on by someone they love deserves a full explanation at the very least. Again, back to the whole, uh, she loved and cared for him so much, right? She couldn't give him a freaking straight answer. But you know what? I guarantee you, she probably, there's a part of her didn't care. You know? Uh, next one. I need to face the ultimate consequences for my actions. I need to lose him to truly comprehend how wrong my actions were and had been. And he forgave me. I convinced myself that it must not have been that bad. Do you hear that? She needed him to kick her to the curb. She knows she deserved it. But after he forgave her, she says right here, I convinced myself it must not have been that bad. So he let it go. He uh, he let her go easy. And so she's thinking, well, must have not been that bad. And that's how it starts, guys. They're thinking that there's no consequences to the actions. So 
Hey, he forgave me once, maybe down the road. Whether she realized it consciously or subconsciously, and there you go. And again, it goes both ways for both men and women. She says, I, I didn't want to believe that I was capable of doing something like this terrible, but I obviously was. I do believe people can change. I definitely did. I never cheat on anyone since and never would, but I still regret doing it once. Well, right in that moment, she says she wouldn't do it again, but, eh, you know, she's got a whole long life to live. Things can, things can happen, okay? And no matter what, in the back of her mind, she knows that the one time she did it, the guy forgave her and let it go, and she knew how to play that card. It's hurtful. It breaks trust and creates unbalance in an otherwise equal relationship. The ultimate consequence for doing all of that to someone should be losing them forever, not granting him or her a second chance. And when I say you end it, I'm not saying you got to be insane about it or a monster or plot the most dastardly revenge ever. I mean, if you if you want to, you want to, but best to just walk away and don't hold on to that anger and hatred. Now, naturally, you're going to feel that way. I mean, when I was younger, I've been cheated on, and trust me, I know the feeling, okay? But I also know what happens when you carry around that anger and that hatred for so long. Initially, in the beginning, it's understandable, but eventually you got to let it go and move on. But you learn from it. You learn from that experience. You learn to spot the red flags. You don't put your guard down so easily, things like that. That's very important to learn. Number five, here we go. Here's the ultimate cliche reason for cheating. I was drunk, but I made a choice. How many times have you guys heard that reason why someone cheated? Alcohol. Every time. Not every time, but a big majority of the time. A big majority of the times I've done stories or articles or personal emails that guys have sent in. Alcohol. I think he, bl- I think he blamed it on the alcohol as a way to justify his choice to stay with me. He shouldn't have. I sought this guy out. I made the moves. I was the bad guy. I chose someone else. The alcohol gave me liquid courage to do something that I wanted to do. Anyway, deep down. In some ways, that's worse because it made me the coward. Well, okay, my bad here. Well, she was obviously drinking, but it sounds like he used that as an excuse to make himself feel better. It wasn't her because she's so sweet and wonderful. It was the alcohol that did it. Bullshit. Alcohol is just an excuse. Alcohol will amplify what's below the surface anyway and has always been used as an excuse. Number six, I need to do some serious work on myself. Sometimes I think back to that time in my life and realize how much personal work I need to do to improve myself. If he dumped me instead of taking me back, it would have forced me to face and fix things about myself that I didn't get to fix until we actually broke up two years later. Call me crazy, but I'm starting to pick up on a little bit of a blame game going on here. She says, if he dumped me instead of taking me back. Wait a second here. I thought she wanted him to take her back, but now now she didn't. Now she's blaming him for taking her back, giving her the second chance. If he, if, he would have, if he would have dumped her, then she'd be able to fix herself and do all that. But it's his fault for taking me back. You know, ultimately, why didn't she break up with him in the first place? This is where things started, me starting to realize maybe there's an alternative, ulterior motive to this article, not just doing uh, something helpful to guys in society here. Maybe she wanted it to end all along, but she didn't want to be the one to do it, you know, by saying it. Maybe she wanted him to break up with her, hence the cheating. Something to think about. Number seven, I always felt like I owed him and it created a bad dynamic between us. Since he forgave me and took me back, it took a long time for us to get back to a good place. Even when we did find some semblance of happiness again, I couldn't help but always feel like I owed him. I would overcompensate and try harder than necessary to be a worthy girlfriend because I was constantly worried that he'd break up with me. It was taxing on us both. He should have spared us both the grief and let me go when it first happened. Well, guess what? She did owe him. She cheated on the guy. The guy thought everything was cool, and then she cheated on him. And again, going back to the thing that where she says here, he should have spared us both the grief and let me go when it first happened. Again, yes, she knows herself. Yes, she knows her kind. But also, something sounds sounds to me that she wanted him to break up with her. Did she cheat on him on purpose so that she... Could then he'd break up with her instead of her breaking up with him? 
again, these little red flags here and the stuff that she's saying tells me there's something else going on in this article here. But no matter what, obviously the, the point is, and it is absolutely true, someone cheats, you got to move on. Number eight. And this is one thing she says I definitely agree with. We were afraid of life without each other, and that's not a reason to stay in a relationship. Definitely. At the end of the day, that's why we ended up staying together. He was afraid to be alone, so he forgave me, and I was afraid to be alone, so I begged him to take me back. So she's, admitting, she, she's admitting she begged him to take her back. This woman is all over the place with what she thinks she wants, what she thinks she needs, and, and it... This doesn't surprise me, and I'm sure it doesn't surprise any of you guys that have done relationships and, and dated and all that. You know what it's like. The emotional roller coaster. We were the absolute best of friends, family even, but it doesn't always justify a romantic relationship. I realize as I've gotten older that fear is a horrible excuse to keep people together. A lot of people stay in bad relationships. It goes both ways, men and women, because they're afraid of being alone. Okay, they, they just, they've been together so long that even a bad situation in their mind at that moment is better than being alone. No, it is far better to be alone and be by yourself and, and live your life as you want it and pick and choose who you interact with and, and open it let into your life than to be in it with a toxic person, toxic as whether it be a relationship, friendships, work environment, family, whatever. Better to be alone than have to deal with all sorts of bullshit bringing you down. Because it will bring you down. You know, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So do you want to spend the time with people that are going to be negative and have a negative impact in your life? Or people that are positive? It's really important. But a lot of people do this. Number nine. When he eventually cheated on me, it felt like he was getting even. Maybe, maybe not he was cheating, he cheated on her to get even. Who knows? But no matter what guarantee it was in the back of his mind thinking, is she going to do it to me again one day? Our relationship ended in part because he met someone new and cheated on me with her. They're still together. When I found out that he cheated, I wanted to feel every kind of rage in the world against him. Instead, I felt like I wasn't entitled to it. In fact, I felt guilty for even considering rage. I felt like he was getting even on his end for something that I started. Had our relationship ended when it should have, he wouldn't have cheated, and I wouldn't have had to feel guilty for an otherwise legitimate emotion. Again, putting some blame on him. He cheated. That was not cool. I mean, obviously you could understand why he felt the way he did and all that, but still, better for him to just walk away and end it, but he, A, stayed with her, and then cheated on her, okay? So two wrongs doesn't make a right here, you know? And now that just gives her a reason to be like, you, know, you see what I'm talking about here? But again, she said here, had our relationship ended when it should have, he wouldn't have cheated and I wouldn't have to feel guilty for an otherwise legitimate emotion. Well, then she should have basically ended it and said, you know, it's not going to work. I obviously cheated for, for because I don't obviously feel the way towards you or whatever happens to be. Doing that guy a favor in the long run. Number 10, some love stories just need to end love stories. It's not a Disney movie, and this certainly isn't a love story. My experience being on both sides of cheating remind me that sometimes walking away from someone is the only way you can fix it. People stay in relationships longer than they should. Whether it's a gut feeling to get the F out, or an overact like cheating glaring you in the face. Sometimes you just have to look at the facts and decide that enough is enough. There are more love stories to make with people who treat you right. Exactly. You know, regardless of her motives, regardless of what she's done, at the end of the day, best to walk away. That's just what I've been saying all throughout the whole video. So, guys, you're in a situation like this, and you're feeling the urge to cheat on your lady, just walk away. End it. Save yourself, because karma's going to bite you in the ass one day. And for women watching this, you're unhappy, he's not doing things right, whatever happens to be, ladies, just end it, okay? You guys may not listen to me, but you're just going to invite more problems down the road. And, of course, if someone cheats on you... Walk away. Move on, okay? Because even even if you feel like you got to get even with her or him or whatever happens to be, it's going to be a bad situation. It's never going to be the same, you know? And But no matter what, it's interesting, like I said in this article, guys, because you can see how she's kind of playing in some degree the victim card here. Like, well, if he would have ended with me, I could have fixed myself and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, she could have ended it the whole time. But it's just funny how this thing goes. But with regards to female emotions... It's a roller coaster. We all know this. So, anyhow, guys, I thought that was a good thing to do, hearing it from the female perspective, saying, walk away. 
dump us, end it, because, you know, we know, I know myself, I know women, so there's a lesson for you, so, all right, guys, that's it for today, be sure to comment down below, let me know what you think about this, and be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.